everyone, I'm Caitlin Payne and I'm here to give you your weekly updates for the week of October 21st, 2015, brought to you by the Skyline View. And yeah, today's October 21st and apparently it's Back to the Future Day. And honestly, I'm not too familiar with like the movie, so I hope all you people out there who have watched it get the reference because I obviously don't. <laughs> yeah, so now we can get on to the news. So news this week we have two stories and the first one sounds pretty interesting. It's about sexual harassment on college campuses and it's by our TSV staff writer Christina Chase. And we have another story about uh, the Community College Chancellor of California who is actually retiring and we're going to have a story about that written by our news editor Laurel Lujan. Okay, and then and for features this week we have um, one feature about uh, earthquake preparation. Um, which includes like the earthquake drills that have been um, going on around like San Mateo Community College campuses. Like um, Skyline had one. What was that last? Last Tuesday. Last Tuesday. Yeah. No, it was last Thursday. 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 It was yeah, after it was print. Thursday. Yeah, last Thursday, um, Skyline did an earthquake drill <clears throat> in the morning, and they one had at, one at night. One at night. One in the morning. One at night. And so did um, I know San Mateo Community College did it too, and I'm guessing City also. Or Kenyatta? No, I think actually all schools did it in California. Oh, yeah. Because even my little brother has I, to do it at school. Oh, really? Yeah. At the same day? Yeah, it's all on the same day. Okay, so yeah, so I guess they're all doing like earthquake drills in order to like get people like, um, you know, preparing in case like an earthquake yeah, would happen or like happens. safety precautions people yeah. would take. Um, oh, but ironically, that, oh gosh, so the whole earthquake thing, going to that, um, my junior year. The day that we had to do an earthquake drill, like everyone in California, there was an earthquake the same day. Oh, really? Yes. Did, wow, what is did all it not odds? happen to you? Because um, I went to school in Oakland, so I, f I mean, like, where I was, yeah, like, you I could felt, felt it. it. Yeah. I felt it. Probably, but I mean, I don't know, I don't remember, but it, oh, yeah. That was wow, the dude. irony. Well, yeah, see, things like that could happen. Like, you need to be prepared for it. Like, know, like, yeah. what you're going to do and, like, how, um, you know, like, everyone. Like I guess they want to like train people like to like remain calm and like mm -hmm. know to get under your desk and this and that and like you know and um, we have another um, an entertainment for focal point this week um, on Crimson Peak, um, which is a new movie that came out last week. Um, it's basically like a gothic romance the, that critics call it. Creepy one. <laughs> yeah, it's like I thought it was like horror, which it is, but it's like they you know it's referred to as like a gothic romance. Um, but it's a really, it got really good reviews. It was a good movie, I saw it too. Um, and that review will be written by our news editor, Laura Lujan. And then we have um, um, a video game review for um, uh, Star okay. Wars Battlefront. Um, and written by our staff writer, Blinn. And um, he, did, um, he did a game review, but he did it through a video. So I guess he's doing a written review for it now. So um, be sure to check that out. And then for... Uh, Sports this week, we have um, a game story on women's soccer. They played City College. Um, when was that game? Uh, I believe it was yesterday. Yeah, I think yesterday, and Skyline lost 3-1. to one. Um, And then we have um, another opinion opinion article going up by um, senior staff writer Steve Parati, but... Um, we don't know the topic yeah, yet. Yeah, we don't so know the topic yet. But, just go ahead and stay tuned to that. Yeah. And uh, right. that's it. So, yeah. Now we can get back to the newsroom. <laughs> That's it for these weekly updates. Don't forget to check out our TSB podcast. Also, on Monday, October 24th, there will be an information session for a study abroad program in Florence. And it's happening in Building 4, Room 4301, from 1230 to 2. So if you've been looking to study out of the country and travel to Europe, then now is your chance because this will be happening next semester. And finally, check out all of our social media sites. If you haven't already, go ahead and like us on Facebook. Follow us on Twitter, Instagram, Vine, and Snapchat. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our online website, theskylineview.com. I'm Caitlin Payne, and I'll see you next week.